Bali, a beautiful island which is home to many unique and fascinating sites. The culture, arts, and cuisine are all unique to this island. You will find some of the best beaches of Asia here too. Do you know that the world's most expensive coffee comes from this exotic paradise? But this is not just any normal coffee, it is made from poop from the civet cat. Strange, isn't it? Bali is a paradise for people who want to relax and enjoy the best of what nature has to offer. If you are looking for something different than just traveling, then Bali is the place for you. Here we bring you top 10 things to do in Bali so that you can enjoy your vacation at its best. Hello to our adventurous community, welcome to today's fun trip on top 10 things to do in Bali. Before moving on to our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification to bring you updates about future exciting videos like this. Now without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10. Water Bomb Bali Water Bomb in Bali is a place where you can enjoy nature and relax. If you want to enjoy the water, the sun as well as the views, Water Bomb is the perfect place for you. The food at Water Bomb is delicious, especially their grilled fish. Devour the finger-licking food after the fun activities. There are many activities that you can do in this tourist spot such as kayaking, windsurfing and more. It's hard to choose just one activity as there are so many things to do in this tourist spot. When you go on vacation here, make sure to visit all of the beautiful attractions like windmills of Ubud Village Tour, floating forest bathing cave and more. Number 9. Jatiliwi Rice Terrace Jatiluwi Rice Terrace is located in Tabanan Regency, which is in the central part of Bali. It is a beautiful place to visit. The area has many restaurants and hotels nearby, so you can easily spend your day exploring this area or relaxing by the beach after your meal at one of its many eateries. The Rice Terrace itself dates back to the 15th century when it was built as an irrigation system for growing paddy plants using water from an artificial lake called Lake Temblingan which means lake without waves. Today it remains a popular tourist destination because people love visiting places like these where they can relax while seeing great views over Lake Temblingan and surrounding mountainsides covered with green fields. It is filled with endless rows upon rows upon rows upon rows upon... You get the picture. Number 8. Nusa Dua Beach Nusa Dua Beach is a popular tourist destination in Bali. It is located in Nusa Dua, on the northern coast of the island. The white sand and a wide range of amenities are offered here, including restaurants and souvenir shops that cater to tourists from all over the world. The beach also attracts surfers who come here to catch some waves before heading back out into town or heading out into bigger waves further down the coast. Nusa Dua Beach can be crowded during holidays like Christmas where many people come for religious ceremonies as well as other celebrations like weddings or births of children born overseas. But it's still worth coming here if you want something different than your usual tourist destinations in Bali. Number 7. Lempu Yang Temple Lempu Yang Temple is one of the most visited temples in Bali. It is located in Gyanyar Regency in Bali. This beautiful temple is famous for its gate that gives a picturesque view of the landscape. This gate is also called the Gates of Heaven. You must have seen its beautiful pictures on social media. The temple is dedicated to the Hindu goddess of the sea, Dewi Sri, who was worshipped by fishermen who used her as a protector against storms at sea. The temple complex consists of several shrines dedicated to various gods and goddesses, including Surya, the sun, Brahma, the creator, Ganesha, the elephant-headed god, Shiva and Vishnu, among others. There are other many similar shrines within this complex which were built over centuries by different people over time, but they all follow under one roof only. Number 6. Kelling King Beach Kelling King Beach is a beach on the west coast of Bali. It is located in the village of Kelling King, Badung, Bali. The beach has become one of Bali's most popular tourist destinations due to its white sand and calm waters. You can also see cliff at this area which resembles a Tyrannosaurus Rex with its head held low to the ground. 
Do you know the visitors have to descend down a staircase of around 800 steps to reach the beach? But the beach makes it worth all these efforts. Number 5. Tenenungan Waterfall Tenenungan Waterfall is a waterfall located in the village of Tenengan, Gyanyar Regency, about 30 minutes from Ubud. The water falls down a steep cliff into a deep pool below. There are three main waterfalls. There are many pools where people can swim, including one right at the base of the waterfall itself. The waterfall has a long history dating back thousands of years. This waterfall was known as the Guardian Falls because it guarded the entrance to Tenganen Village and had once been used during World War II by Japanese soldiers as an escape route from American troops who were attacking them at Mount Agum. Number 4. The Noosa Islands The Noosa Islands are a popular tourist destination and an ideal place to go if you're looking for a break from the crowds. These islands are known for their beaches, which have been described as some of the best in Bali. You can also enjoy snorkeling here, which is great if you're into scuba diving or just want to get away from it all. The Nusa Islands offer some unique wildlife experiences, including monkeys and birds that inhabit these tropical islands. They even have turtles. If you're interested in seeing these animals up close, then definitely visit them when on holiday at one of their many resorts or hotels, located throughout this beautiful chain of islands off East Java's coastline. Number 3. Pura Ulun Danu Bratan Pura Ulun Danu Bratan is one of the most popular temples in Bali. The temple is dedicated to the holy water goddess Dewi Danu, who has been worshipped for centuries as a fertility goddess and protector of fishermen. The location itself is stunning. The temple is situated on an island within Danau Bratan Lake. It is surrounded by cliffs where you can watch birds fly over your head or see some dolphins playing in its shallows. This makes it an excellent place to get some photos while exploring this beautiful area. The temple itself looks like any other Balinese Hindu temple, but what makes it special are its many sculptures depicting scenes from nature like deer running across fields. These carvings include ones depicting animals such as elephants that were brought over during colonial times when Europeans first visited Indonesia. Number 2. Mount Batur Mount Batur is an active volcano located in the north of Bali. It's a popular hiking destination, with the first recorded eruption being in 1847. The last eruption was in 1994, but this volcano is still active. Mount Batur stands at 2,322 meters high, and every day many tourists trek up the 1,700 meter summit to watch the breathtakingly beautiful sunrise from the top over the lush green forests of the mountain. This also tops the most romantic things to do in Bali list. The trek to the top is an easy two to three hour path with picnic breakfast and eggs cooked with the steam of the volcano to have along the route. On a clear day, the glorious Lake Batur can be seen from the top of the mountain to make the view more beautiful. Number 1. Ubud's Monkey Forest Monkey Forest is an incredibly spiritual place. The forest is home to hundreds of monkeys and they are free to roam the jungle. You can also learn about Balinese culture with this great location. Monkeys are also known for being very friendly and playful. If you visit Monkey Forest, there will be plenty of opportunities for interaction with these creatures. There's even a temple in the middle of the forest where people come pray every day. It's hard not to love this place when you see how many different types of monkeys live here. Some of them are civets, they look like small cats, langurs, their primate cousins, and macaques, more monkey-like. You might even get lucky enough to see baby monkeys running around. There's also a great view from the temple in the middle of the forest. The trail you walk through is surrounded by beautiful trees all the way. That's all in today's video. Thanks for watching. Write down in the comments which among the 10 things you would like to do on your next trip to Bali. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel on your way out and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.